Fremantle Council is taking on the Coffin Cheaters bikey gang over its Beaconsfield clubhouse. At the same time, police are preparing to use anti-fortification laws to tear down some of the buildings on the property. Police forced their way into the Coffin Cheaters Beaconsfield headquarters before dawn, one of two raids in the area. A shotgun seized, the serial number shaved off, a gang member arrested and charged. What was different about today's raid, police spent hours measuring and surveying the compound information to help them use anti-fortification laws on clubhouse buildings. Which will mean eventually that they will uh, have to come down. But police might be beaten by the local council. The city of Fremantle says the bikey gang previously had building approval, but only for a shared or warehouse, not a residential building. Regardless, that approval has now expired, which means the bikies shouldn't be building anything. The local council has written to the coffin cheaters demanding an explanation. So far, there's been nothing. If that continues, the bikies may be forced to tear down part of what's behind me here, and if they won't, the city of Fremantle says it's prepared to. Ultimately, that's, that's the process, is that um, without a planning approval, the structure can't be there. Fremantle isn't the only council taking on bikies. The Finks Outlaw Motorcycle Gang didn't get planning approval for its Balga clubhouse, once a suburban home, now a heavily fortified compound. David Cooper, 7 News.